All right, so today I'm going to be talking about QR codes in the classroom. Uh, so as I mentioned in my blog, uh, QR codes allows you basically to share a lot of materials or resources with your students. It could be a picture, a song, it could be a graph, it could be a PDF file with a bunch of articles, it could be a movie, it could be a handout, assignment sheet, a lot of things. So the process is you have to choose first which file you would like to share with them, then you have to create a QR code, and then you have to share with them, you know, basically. So let's do assignment sheet. Let's say you have an assignment sheet on Google Drive. So you go there and you're going to click on the share button in the upper right. And that window is going to prompt. You're going to click on change and you're going to make that link available to anyone so they can view it. No edit it. You don't want the kids to be changing uh, the homework. Then you save. You're going to copy that link that you want to share with your students and then you're going to go to qrstuff.com when you are on that website you are going to paste the link in that little window right there and then you have a couple of options if you would like you can change the color to make it a little bit funky so it stands out and the kids get to see it more easily in the classroom uh, again that's up to you guys then you can download it you can print it or you can email that code, really whatever you like. I will suggest printing it, for example. And then what you can do is the following, which I did with my students. I printed them in small sizes. I actually used 24 page. And I printed on little stickers and downloaded it and printed all stickers. So when I had those QR codes, I gave it one to each student and they put it in the planner so they can scan the homework for tonight. Or you can print larger and they put it outside your classroom. For the QR code reader, I will suggest Enigma. That's a great QR code reader. It works really well. So I will suggest strongly this one. Now, QR portfolios. If you're interested in doing QR portfolios, which is, I think, a really easy way to share materials with the students. So let's say one student is going to be creating uh, different type of resources, a multimedia presentation, for example, and you want, he, you want him or her to share with another student. So I'm going to show you with a YouTube video, for example. So if you had the kids little create little movies or little TV shows and you want them to share it with each other, you're going to go, they're going to go to that video, they're going to click on share, they're going to copy the link of that video, and then same process. They're going to go to qrstuff.com, they're going to click on YouTube video, and they're going to paste it into that video URL. When, they, when they're done, you have a couple of options, you know, you can ask them to email it to you or you can have them print it themselves, whichever works better for your setup. When they have little QR code, they can create index card that you're going to pin on the walls in your classroom. For example, here I had a kid, she created a TV show and she pasted a little QR code on the index card and so that all her classmates can scan that QR code in the classroom, look at the video, review it, look at different videos since they're going to be all doing this. Now, let's say that I created a voice thread and you want to do the same uh, thing. Well, it's fairly easy. You're going to go to your voice thread. You're going to click, of course, on share, since that's what you're doing. You're sharing. And you're going to click on get a link. I would strongly suggest you allow anyone to view and to comment so the kids can see each other's voice thread without having to sign in and send out a voice thread. Again, it's in your classroom, so it's a safe environment. Nobody's going to scan those except the students. So I would strongly suggest you check those two boxes. It's up to you. You copy the link. Same drill. Once the link has been copied and ready to paste, well, you're going to go to qrstuff.com. You're going to paste in the little window. And again, you know, same exact, same process. You can change the color if you want. And then you can uh, ask the student to print it themselves, or they can email it to you, and you can print it yourself from your computer. After that, well, like, I, like I've shown you before, you have a, basically a wall of index cards with little QR codes. So basically you're creating a QR portfolio that can be kept throughout the entire year where students can look at each other's work, but as well when it's back to school night, well, the parents get to see it, which is pretty nice as well. 